What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're here in Central Florida and there's a really interesting cave system back here. I've never seen anything like it and we're actually going to go explore it, see what's at the bottom and see if there's any animals to be found. A lot of people don't realize this, but the state of Florida is actually filled with underground limestone caves and aquifers, many of which can be found in state parks and other very well explored areas. However, this cave here is located on private property, and I'm not sure how well explored this place is. My goal today is to get down there and see what it's all about. Check this out. That's a chasm. That is a literal chasm. Some old guy out here, he actually called this place Goat Sink. I don't know how well known this is, but that's a drop off. Like if I fell, I'd be dead. Like I'd probably, I'd either be dead or going to the hospital. Wow, well this is awesome. We got a big dead log up there and just these cliffs. Check out this moss. I would have to guess that there's frogs down here. I have to guess that sometimes snakes would come down there. I'm actually shocked that there's no dead turtles down here because sometimes turtles would get kind of trapped. This kids is what we like to call foreshadowing. In these little spots like this. Have a look at this. This is what I'm really here to see. Look at that. Crystal clear. Straight out. That was a big frog right there. I think it was a leopard frog. Look at the crawfish. Now, as you can see, there's a bunch of solid white crawfish down there. Now, clearly, these are cave crawfish, some kind of cave crawfish. And that's all I know. That is all we know about these crawfish. Uh, there are a couple different species that could be, but we are going to have to catch one to figure it out. Now, this thing goes back a good ways. And I actually came to Florida ready to snorkel. I was actually planning on snorkeling rivers. What's funny is I came ready to film at night, so in darkness, and I came ready to snorkel. But I wasn't ready to snorkel in darkness, so we're gonna see how this goes lighting-wise. But I'm gonna try to present this cave to you guys. I'm just gonna slide on in. Okay, here we go. I can actually see this cave really well. It doesn't go very far back. No, never mind, it gets deep. See it? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold my light up, look in the water, snorkel, see what I can get. I will get a crawfish. I'm just curious if there's anything else. Oh my gosh, dude. Ch check this out. This is so cool. Oh yeah, that's terrifying. Dude, hang on. You're going to love this. Is there a bowen or something? No, no, no. You're going to love this. <laughs> no way! <laughs> That's Whoa. right at the mouth. Check that out. We've got a four point deer skull. I figured things would fall down this cavern and die. Whoa. You know what's terrible? Is that uh, that is not that old. You can notice how it's not actually crumbling at the nose, which is mostly cartilage. This was probably in the last couple months that this deer fell down here and died. Man, this cave is awesome. It doesn't go back super far, but it certainly goes down. There's a huge drop off that looks like it connects to a larger underground waterway. At the cave entrance, everything is muddy from all the debris, but around the edges of the cave and in the center, the water is crystal clear and solid limestone. Looking at the cave ceiling, there are tons of spiders and signs of bats. I'd have to guess that plenty of bats use this during the day, but none of them are visible right now it seems. I could go on and on about this cave. It's honestly super cool. But what about these crawfish? They're solid white, have super tiny eyes, thin claws, and they're not very skittish. I could probably end up grabbing one if I'm lucky. It seems most of the larger ones took off the deeper water right as I entered the cave, but there's still plenty around, and I've got to get one. Oh, got one. <laughs> it's got under the rock. Yo! Check him out! This is a smaller one. I couldn't get to any of the bigger ones. They're all kind of in the center because they have a slight semblance of intelligence. But we're gonna be able to look at one really good with this. Have a look at that. 
Well guys, there we go. This is our Florida cave crawfish. This is actually a little guy that get a lot bigger than than this. And the reason I know that is because there's a bunch of bigger ones right there in the center. Now I'm not particularly sure what kind of Florida cave crawfish this is. The closest thing I could find doing a bit of research beforehand while looking at them in the water was the Santa Fe cave crawfish and we're a good chunk of time away from there. Uh, so either this is like a new locality we're going to be getting plenty of documentation of this little guy. I'm even going to try to catch some more after we're done filming or even come back later on and uh, see what we can get. Now, I'm going to point out some of the features. There's little known about cave crawfish in general, especially here in Florida. So I'm going to try to just list the very basic things. For one, this one in particular has very thin claws, a very narrow head, much longer antenna than normal. They have little pinkish eyes, which is really interesting. It's almost like a sign of albinism in some cases. But they're also see-through. You can see all of their organs through their shell. Oh! I don't want to go through catching another one again. That's going to take me a little while. As a cave-dwelling species, they would actually live back in this cave. Very minimal light, and that's why you can tell that their eyes are super, super tiny. There's not going to be a lot of cave-dwelling species here in this part of Florida, and that's why these crawfish are so special, because we really don't know that much about them. So it's a really crazy thing to get to see. And we're barely even scratching the surface of this cave. Like I said, that thing goes way, way down. Now the crawfish do need to be close to the top, so I would have to guess that there's a population of them right here and they don't go all the way down way too often. I'm sure they take off down there, but they do actually have to come up to the surface to get good oxygen and stuff like that every once in a while. Plus, the leaf litter and all the different stuff that falls in here. Like we saw a deer, an entire deer fell down here and died. And that would ob obviously provide a lot of food for a decomposing species, a species that would be ripping apart food and eating it constantly like a crawfish. Now overall, they're a pretty typical looking crawfish. Besides the eyes and the little skinny claws, they're kind of just your ever everyday typical crawfish, kind of just built the same, I guess. But absolutely amazing nonetheless. Like, I can't believe that we're getting to see this. It's something that I really wasn't expecting when I came here to Florida. This has probably been one of my favorite adventures that we've done in a while. Getting to see a really cool cave crawfish species that might be unknown. I'm going to be doing a lot more research later, and I'm actually going to be flashing up a lot of information on this crawfish on the screen. All right, so here's the post-editing scoop. After doing as much info searching as I possibly could do on this species in this region, there are actually lots of cave crawfish in Florida, and I was able to find two species that live in this Florida county. My first thought was the Alachua light fleeing cave crawfish, and... I was actually right. It took me a while to confirm, reached out to some experts. Alachua cave crawfish have been seen in over 20 different cave systems, and typically have very small eyes, thin claws, and very long antenna. Probably the least observed species we've ever filmed on the channel up until now. So I guess that's one step closer to discovering a new species. On the bright side, this is a new locality. So we did find a new location that these animals are living, which is pretty cool. There's actually very little information on this species overall online. I'm sure some really obscure crawfish books have plenty of information on these guys. So if anyone finds any good reads on these crawfish, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. Really awesome animal in a really, really awesome environment. So glad we got to show you this guy. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to go check out some of our other videos. Honestly, we don't have any similar to this. Uh, this has just been a really unique experience, so just watch the one that YouTube says you should watch. And we will see you guys next time. Alright, time to let this guy go.